Hello everybody! Petris, coconut, what is that all about? It's about the metaphor that I really really like and today I want to explain you this metaphor. It's about different cultures and different countries. I also want to add some more metaphors that I like and tell you about them. Just imagine the situation. You're meeting people from another country and you start a conversation. And then you continue the conversation in the bar or in the park or uh, in the university, wherever you met. And then how much the person will tell about himself or herself? How much he will reveal at first and later? That's a very interesting question. And it really depends not only on our personality, though it also is an important factor, but also on our culture. There is where coconuts and peaches are coming. Let's imagine um, some people from the peaches country, according to this metaphor. People from the United Kingdom, from the USA, from Australia, they are people from uh, peach countries. Uh, those people mostly, again, this is a generalization, of course, but they are like peaches in their behavior. Uh, they are soft and easy to deal in the beginning and they will tell you more from the beginning on about yourself. They can tell you about what music they like, what uh, cuisine they like, uh, and uh, uh, how uh, are they doing, what they were doing yesterday, what other plans for tomorrow, and many other things. With those people, it's very easy to communicate in um, this sense because um, they are quite open, they are inviting and it's easy to become good acquaintances with them. That means that in uh, some days or sometimes even hours of communication you know quite a lot about the person, about his general interests and uh, uh, likes and dislikes. Uh, but imagine going further, imagine trying to know more about it. There you will encounter the pit, the pit of the peach. It's quite hard and it's quite difficult to get in the center of the person. So it's difficult to understand the inner of the person, the really personal matters. They are always um, very, um, he very good hidden from everybody. And on the contrary, you can meet people from the coconut countries, like I am, for example. In Russia, we are more like coconut. It's difficult to get to know us in the beginning. We will not reveal a lot about ourselves and uh, we can keep more silent, not really into um, contact with unknown people in the beginning uh, and be a bit um, shy or not willing to become friends fast. Uh, but then if you went through this period and if you really uh, found the way to the person, then the, the shell, the coconut shell, changes into the soft side of the coconut. Here, you, the person will open for you. He, she will tell you a lot about himself and herself. And uh, uh, the most important, uh, you will become friends for probably a very long time and you will be really good friends with these people because they will tell about the, the, the most important things in their life, about very personal matters. In my mind, it's really interesting how it works uh, different in different cultures. And the, the, the best part is it's not that one is good and the other one is bad. The, the cool part is that both are good and interesting and we people are different and the same at the same time. So you should just find the way to different people in a different kind of way. And remember that still we are individuals and their personality also matters. But that also can be really convenient to remember about such differences and to keep in mind this metaphor that helps to distinguish people from different cultures. And if you want to know more about which countries are coconuts and which ones are um, peaches, you can read about that in the internet, there is um, uh, information about it. But I can also add that, for example, uh, Germans and Russians are coconuts. So for me it was, uh, I guess, easier to understand the behavior of people in Germany and it was a bit easier um, when we met with my husband because we are from the same culture in, in this sense at least. And um, for me it's quite familiar and uh, normal when people are not really open, they don't start to um, hug you from the beginning and uh, they don't tell everything about themselves, don't ask a lot of questions about you, they keep a bit of a distance. 
uh, and I feel comfortable with it. Uh, but if somebody is from another culture and behaves differently, I would know that it's a cultural thing and I will respect it. When I studied in university, once I made a project about the social penetration theory. That sounds a bit complicated in the beginning, but when we use the metaphor that was used by the creator of the theory, Irwin Altman, everything becomes more clear. And his metaphor to uh, that is onion. It's called sometimes an onion principle. Just imagine the onion and it consists of different layers and you can take one layer and then another and then go closer and closer to the core of the uh, onion, to the center of the onion. And with this metaphor he explained how people reveal themselves. Though we discussed that it's culturally and people reveal themselves with a different speed, uh, they also reveal uh, the particular layers first and then they go deeper and deeper. And according to his theory, there are six layers. The first one is called biographical layer. So people tell about their age, about uh, their names, about their profession and where were they born and so on. Then comes the second layer. Those are likes and dislikes. What music you prefer, what clothes do you like to wear, what films are your favorites. Third layer is called goals and aspirations. Fourth layer is religious matters. And then we go deeper, closer to the center. And then layer number five, those are inner fears and fantasies. Those we are for sure not um, sharing with a lot of people. Only a small amount of people know about our uh, inner fears and fantasies. And then the core center uh, is the layer number six, and this one is called concept of self. This is how we really understand ourselves. What is our self? And this one is a difficult one. And uh, uh, he says in his theory that this one probably we don't tell to anybody because first it's difficult to make it verbal, to explain that it's only our understanding. And this one, the core, we keep only for ourselves. I remember that the most interesting part of this theory for me was the phenomena called a stranger on the train. Uh, just imagine there are two people, they're meeting, let's say, in the train uh, and uh, they start to talk. And many times we are just knowing each other some uh, minutes, hours, but we share very uh, deep layers with those people, then the real is not going that gradually uh, as uh, I told before. It's a really fast process and we share really sometimes personal and intimate details of our life. Why do we do that? Why is that sometimes easier to tell the strangers everything about our personal affairs than to share with a close person? The thing is, we hope and that's really a big chance that we'll never see this person again. And uh, this is the psychological effect that we all experience uh, because we all have this uh, inner uh, desire to share those things with people, but we don't want a lot of judgment, we don't want to encounter the people whom we told this afterwards. And then the stranger in the train is a perfect character to tell about your personal life. I hope you also like those metaphors, I think they are great. I think in general metaphors are great to remember things and when people can come up with uh, such metaphors as coconut and peaches countries and then this onion principle, it's much easier to remember than uh, something abstract. So my advice to everybody is always when you are trying to learn something, uh, try to find the metaphor or to create the metaphor yourself and it will make it much easier for you to remember new words or grammar or anything that you actually want to remember. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up and I'll see you soon.